In this video, we present our work on model-based inverse reinforcement learning from visual demonstrations. Our pipeline for solving this problem has two steps. One, learn a cost function from the visual demo, and two, reproduce the demonstrated behavior by optimizing actions with respect to the learned cost. We first examine the second part of this pipeline, that is the visual MPC framework. This pipeline stitches together several components. These include a key point detector that detects pixel positions roughly corresponding to the object in the initial image, a dynamics model that predicts the key points and the joint state at the next time step, and finally, the action optimization step. The key point detector is trained on videos of the robot manipulating the gripped object by only varying the end effector rotation through each episode long data point. Each data point starts at a different robot configuration. The dynamics model has two parts, a component that integrates the current joint state with the actions to produce the next joint state, and a multilayer perceptron that is used to predict the key points at the next step. Once a trajectory of key points and joint configurations has been predicted from the initial state, it is compared to the goal key points using the learned cost function. Minimizing this cost function with respect to the actions via gradient descent gives the optimal set of actions that moves the object to its goal position. We next provide an overview of learning the cost function. Our framework for learning the cost function builds upon recent work on gradient-based bi-level optimization. The inner loop of this framework optimizes the action trajectory using the current cost function parameters, while the outer loop updates the cost function parameters psi. In comparison to the other IRL algorithms, our outer loop updates cost function parameters by differentiating through the inner loop. This gradient-based connection between the inner and outer loop leads to a more stable and effective optimization. We compare results on learning from visual demonstrations on different cost function parameterizations. These include the weighted cost, the time-dependent cost, and the RBF weighted cost. Please see the submitted paper for details. We compare these to a baseline cost that measures the Euclidean distance between the predicted trajectory and the goal key points. Our demonstration for the placement task consists of a video in which the user moves the object first horizontally and then vertically to place it on the shelf. We evaluate all of our learned cost parameterizations and the default cost baseline on two different test cases with two different initial robot configurations. The best performing cost parameterization for test case one is the RBF cost, with the time-dependent cost being a close contender. We note that the weighted cost is unable to place an object fully on the shelf, indicating that the time dependency component in the learned costs plays some role in ensuring generalization. The default cost results in the object somewhat colliding with the edge of the shelf in an attempt to take the shortest path to the goal. This is in contrast to the learned costs, which presumably take cues from the demonstration. All the learned costs perform similarly and much better than the default cost for test case 2. We show a side-by-side -side comparison of the trajectory optimized using the time-dependent and the default cost to illustrate this, this difference. Thank you for your attention.